everybody, my name is Juan Espinoza. Today I'm going to be focusing on uh, communication across cultures. Uh, so basically I'm just going to talk about uh, what barriers and how to solve those barriers across communicating when you establish new businesses uh, worldwide. So first of all, let's start at what is communication? So communication is the act of process uh, using words, sound, signs, or behavior to express. So the three basic steps is individual, group, and organization. So let's talk about what is cross-cultural communication. It's a for form of communication that aims to share information across different cultures and social groups. It is to describe the wide range of communication process and problems that naturally appear with the, with the organization, what it's made of. Uh, it could be religious, social, ethnicity, educational background, it depends on the, on the culture. So the, the importance is very important if you're establishing a business to develop these skills. Um, you have to be able to communicate with other people. If you're a worldwide company, you have to be able to communicate with them. It is key to an effective business. Uh, you have to establish those relationships. You have to know their culture. So let's talk about how to, what do you have to do to develop these communication skills? Uh, you have to establish common ground. Uh, so when a company engages in cost cultural communication, the first thing is to get establish that goal. What is that common ground that you guys are um, wanting to do? Uh, you have the second is informational context. Uh, different cult cultural con requires different levels of information. Depending on the information context is critical when communicating with new business partners. Um, so the first, no, I mean the third is trust. You have to be able to develop trust. Uh, many countries, um, they are really uh, expect for them to trust you in order to do business. And then fourth is the quality. You have to have high quality, um, just be a good quality person in order to um, receive that, um, that business with them. So let's talk about the variables that are affecting communication when relating with um, different cultures. Um, so, Attitude, social organization, uh, tough patterns, roles, language, and time. And how do you manage it? Uh, step forward, effective internal culture communication includes you have to develop culturally sensitive sensitivity, careful encoding, selective transmission, and careful decoding of feedback. It is critical when you do business across cultural differences, you have to develop that good cultural sensitivity. You have to be able to uh, learn their ways they do things. Certain business that certain business things that we do here might not work in another place. Uh, we have to train our team to be able to go to other places and learn their language. Um, just do what they're doing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you.